by Nancy and the Python. Deep in the jungle, on the muddy banks of the river Niger, lay an enormous snake, a coiling, hungry python. He ate the jungle animals, he ate the village cows, and he ate anyone who strayed too close to the river. The villagers were so terrified that they called out to the sky god, Save us from the monster man-eating python! No, said the god of the sky. I made Python. I won't unmake him. But if anyone can put a stop to his murderous ways, I'll reward them with a present. The villagers threw up their hands and groaned. Who's clever enough to destroy Python? Oh, who's brave enough to try? Close to the village lived Anansi, the Spider-Man. When he heard the Sky God's words, he said, I'll tackle Python. Give me a bowl of wine, a basket of eggs, and a long rope. Then cut down a tall tree, strip off the branches, and carry it to the river. The villagers carried the tree down to the river and ran home as fast as they could, fearing the snake would eat them up. But Python just lay dozing in his hole. And Nancy crept right up and sat down outside. No, no, he said in a loud voice. You're wrong. Python's really nice. So nice. I've brought him a present of wine and eggs. Then Nancy moved to the other side of the hole and said in a squeaky voice, Creeping back to the other side, Anansi said out loud, Rubbish! I won't sit here and listen to you insulting my friend! Take that, you liar! Take that and that! And he jumped and thumped on the mud. Ugh. Oh! Ow! Take that! Python roused himself and poked his head out of the hole. He saw no one there but Anansi, panting and muttering to himself. That sent him packing! He won't insult dear Python again. Then, seeing Python, Anansi leapt up, bowed, and presented him with the wine and the eggs. Python opened his huge hinged jaws and swallowed bowl, basket and all. How kind, he hissed. Oh, mighty snake, cried Anansi. I am so honoured to meet you. Python gave a smirk. You seem more intelligent than most people. Oh, yes, people are so stupid, Anansi agreed. They say you're only long enough to coil round a cow. What? hissed Python. Well, I tell them you're easily long enough to coil round a hut. Or what? Or even a whole village. Exactly how long are you, Mr. Python? Python shuffled a short way out of his hole. He was monstrously big. But Anansi hid his fear and said, I still can't judge. Come right out and let me measure you. Python slid, coil after glistening coil, out of his hole. Anansi gulped, but said, You see this tree? If you lie beside it, I can measure you. The eggs and wine were making Python very sleepy, so he grinned foolishly and slithered over to the tree. OK, if you like. Now, said Anansi, if I tie a piece of rope round you every ten paces, I can count up the ropes and work out how many paces long you are. OK, <laughs> said Python, yawning. Anansi tied the first rope round his tail and round the tree. 
Your nuts are rather tight, grumbled Python as Anansi went on tying rope after rope. Stop complaining, Anansi scolded. Stretch out as long as you can. Don't you want to be known as the longest python in the world? So Python stretched and strained, and Anansi went on tying knots. Last of all, he tied Python's neck to the tree and stood back to admire his handiwork. Well, how big am I? asked Python. Hurry up and measure me. I can see from here, snickered Nancy. Your body's awfully big, but your brain's very, very small. How will you eat your next villager, Mr. Python? How will you swallow your next cow? I've put a stop to you and your murderous ways forever. When Python saw Nancy dancing triumphantly up and down the tree trunk, he struggled and strained to get free. His tongue flickered wickedly. But he was tied so tight that he couldn't move a muscle. Did you see that? called Nancy, grinning up at the sky. Did you see how I put a stop to Python? I saw Anansi, and I remember what I promised, replied the sky god. Here is your reward. And the sky god leaned down out of the heavens and gave Anansi a small box. Inside is wisdom, enough for a lifetime. Your cleverness will make you famous. And your trickery will keep you safe. So that is how Anansi the Spider-Man came to be the cleverest person in the whole jungle. Even cleverer than he had been before. And Python? Well, he just floated away on his tree trunk down the river Niger, deeper and deeper into the deep, dark jungle. <laughs>